friends, today we're gonna be drawing a pirate. Arr. Ah! <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. We always hope you follow along with us because art is always more fun with friends. Yeah. <laughs> if we ever go too fast, remember you can... Pause the video. Pause the video. Pause the video. You ready to draw a pirate? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna draw a cartoon pirate and we're gonna draw two eyes in the middle of our paper. We're gonna draw two circles. And I'm gonna leave some space in between them. A lot of space. A lot of space. Now inside of these circles, we're gonna draw smaller circles in the top right. And we can draw even smaller circles down in the bottom left. Now let's color in the big circle, but leave the two little ones white. Now let's draw his mouth. I'm gonna draw a smile. And then I'm gonna also draw it open because maybe he's going, Arr. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> and I color it in the top. Now let's draw his chin. We're gonna draw a U shape that comes down, over, and then back up. Then let's draw his hair. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line that comes up over his eyes and then stops right above his eye. And I'm gonna draw that same kind of zigzag line over here on the right side. And we're gonna connect the top with a big curve and look how I'm going past on both sides. That's because we're gonna give him a headband. Then we can connect the hair back up to the curve on each side. Now let's draw the headband. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the side of his hair and then up. And then we could do the same thing over here. Repeat that same step, come out the side and then up. So this is gonna be his headband, but then he's gonna have the pirate hat on top. So let's draw that next. I'm gonna draw a curve that goes over the top and back down, connects both sides. Now let's draw the pirate hat. We'll draw another curve. It comes out of the side on each side. And now we're gonna draw a tricky, fancy line. It's gonna be wobbly. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of this side. Then we're gonna go up in the middle, back down, and then connect to the other side, but curve in. Kinda of tricky, not too bad though. You got a little, yeah, just like that. Got a bump in the middle. Now what do pirate hats always have on the front? A skull. Yeah, a skull. Let's draw, we're gonna draw a big circle but we're not gonna connect it at the bottom. But towards the bottom, let's, let's connect, let's bring it closer together at the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna draw two lines that come down, and then we're gonna connect the bottom, those two lines, that's for the teeth, and we're gonna draw three lines. We could draw one in the middle, and then one on each side for the teeth. Now we're missing the eyes. Let's draw two circles, and then we can color in those circles. We need to turn this into skull crossbones. and crossbones. Yeah. So on each side, right by the teeth, right by the mouth, we're going to draw, look at this. It's like a little box. It's almost a rectangle, but we leave one side open. And then on this side, we're going to draw two bumps to connect it. Like a three. Yeah, it does look like a three. Let's repeat that so we can have practice. We're going to draw a rectangle without the fourth wall. Then we're gonna draw two bumps. Yeah, okay, we gotta repeat that. We're gonna imagine that going through the skull, coming up here, and I'm gonna draw it right next to it since I kinda don't have room close to the top of the hat. Then we can repeat that over here too. Draw a little rectangle without the fourth box, the fourth uh, side to your rectangle and then draw that three to connect it. And we did it, dude. We finished our pirate head. We finished it. Yeah, he looks really, no, we still need to draw the body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's draw his body next. We're gonna draw two lines that come out on each side. Next, let's draw a upside down V right in between those two lines, and then we'll connect each side. So connect the side of the V to the outside of the body. 
Good job. Now we're going to draw rectangles right above this upside down V. So I'm going to draw a big L and then we're going to draw an upside down L to connect the rectangle. And let's do the same thing right above it. So we draw another rectangle right above the first one. Next, let's draw his legs. We're going to draw two shorter lines coming out the bottom. And then let's connect those two. And then a line right down the middle to split the two legs. Okay, we need to draw his boots. Let's draw two big U's for his feet. And I'm pointing each U out to the side. So one to the left and one to the right. Good. I like those feet, man. They look big. Big feet. Big feet. Big foot. <laughs> big pirate feet. What are we missing? Arms. Arms and hands. Except we're going to draw, let's, on the right side, let's draw a curve, a J. It looks like the letter J. Okay. Then we're going to draw a line on his wrist. But what should we put on this hand? A hook. Yeah, let's draw a hook. We're going to draw a big curve comes out. It looks like another J. And then we're going to draw another one right next to that one that comes around and connects. All right, we got one side. Uh, that looks scary. Okay, then we're going to draw his left arm and hand. We're going to draw another J, except backwards. And then draw another line that comes down on his wrist. And then this end, let's draw him holding... A sword. A sword. Okay, first we're going to draw a line, diagonal line. Then we're going to draw a rainbow line to connect the top. Then we're going to draw a curve coming out for the blade of the sword. And then, uh, so on mine, I'm going to draw the bottom side of the sword. You could actually draw the top since you already drew it really good. Yeah, just like that. We're almost done. We could add one little zigzag line to finish his hair. So on the ends, we could draw little zigzags that come down and then connect down to his shoulders. Now he's done, he looks awesome. We finished him, except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color him. Yeah, he's gonna look so much better. We're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. your pirate and he turned out awesome. I love how cool they look when they're all colored in. Yeah. And my favorite part about your drawing? The patch. Yeah, definitely the patch. I love that you added that. I left it off, but I think I might add that later. And you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same color. You could even add a background. That would be really cool if you drew a pirate ship in the, in the background. Now it's okay that our drawings look different and it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. And, and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.